What's up you guys? So today I'm gonna tell you about the time I almost got stabbed. So I was 17, this was three years ago. It was 2018 in the summer. And I was psychotic, right? I, I was psychotic. I would leave the house in the middle of the night, like at 12.30 p.m. a.m. And I would run, run towards cars. Every little threat that I would see, I would run towards it. I would be like, what's up, what's up? And I know it's just a pointless threat and it would be better to just walk off. I would, But I would be like, what's up, what's up? Because, you know, I was emotionally unstable and mentally unstable. So one day I just got out. It wasn't in the middle of the night. I just got out the house. It was like 4, 3, 3.20 p.m. And I went to across the street and there were a group of black people. Um, it was four of them. And I started to bother them. I was like, hey, what's up, what's up? Can, hey, can, can I get some of your can i get some of your uh cigar and then this one guy was like okay give me all your money give me this and this and i'll give you my cigar i gave him my credit card i gave him my all my the 21 dollars i had i gave him my wallet everything and then i just started speaking everything that came into my mind if i thought somebody was a good guy i would be like hey like this one guy in the group i was like hey you're good you're good it doesn't matter what they say you're good you're good and i was just bothering them for like 12 minutes and then one guy was going after me because I, 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 I walked up to his car and I started repeating myself, you're good, you're good. And then he got out the car and then I turned around and walked away and then, he, and then he, he went back inside his car. And then I kept on walking and then I hear these little leaves behind me start to crack, right? I was on the sidewalk and I, and I hear these little leaves start to crack. I turn around. And then I look, and then he has a knife, right? He's, he's pulling at it from behind them. He's pulling at it from behind them. And he's like three feet close to me now. He was running towards me. And I turn around, and, and, and I see his knife. I look at his knife, and I look at him in the eyes. And I turn I turn my body around. And then I, I put I put my hands up. I, I put my hands up like this, like a little bit. Not, not, not like this, but uh, not like this either. I was, I was just like this. I was just like, I was just like, what's up? I was just like, what's up? Stab me. In my mind, I was like, I don't give a fuck if you stab me. Like, I was like, I turned around, I turned around, I was like, you know, like, I, I gave him space so that he can stab me. And then he just looked at me and then his eyes went went, went all the way up. He was like, he was, he was like, he was like, he, and then he turned around and left. <laughs> he started running and left. And then the neighbor saw us and then she was just there staring at me like, what the fuck is going on? And then I just walked away and I don't know why he ran away. I heard little leaves cracking, and I turned around, I, I, I gave him the invitation, you know, I put my hands up, I put my arms a little bit up, you know, so that so that he could stab me, and I, in my mind, I, I gave him the look, like, I don't give a fuck if he stabbed me, like, maybe he read my look, maybe he read my my intentions through my eyes, you know, the eyes are the, are the windows of the soul, or something like that, and he knew that I didn't give a fuck, and that scared him, because when I turned around, I looked at the, I looked at the knife and then looked at him and, I, and then he looked at me and he was like this and then he just turned around and left and, and he had a knife and he, he was um he was chubbier than me I, I was skinny like I was really skinny back then so I don't know what happened all right that's it for this video I'll see you guys in the next one peace out.